Introduction to Pandora When Pandora opened the box, she had no idea that she would be unleashing every form of evil and suffering that humanity would ever experience. But who was Pandora? Who gave her the box? And why was she told never to open it? In this video, we'll explore the ancient tale of Pandora's box, Gods versus Titans. Pandora's story begins long before her own creation, rooted in the ancient conflict between the gods and the titans. According to legend, the world was once embroiled in a war between the formidable titans and the mighty gods of Olympus. The titans were overthrown by the Olympians, led by Zeus, in a great war known as the Titanomachy. After the war, the titans were imprisoned in Tartarus, a dark abyss deep within the earth. However, a few titans, including Prometheus, were spared because they had sided with the Olympians during the conflict. Despite his allegiance to the Olympians, Prometheus had a soft spot for humanity. He saw potential in humans and wanted to help them reach their full potential. To do this, he stole the sacred fire from the gods and gave it to humanity. Fire symbolized knowledge and civilization, and by giving it to humans, Prometheus provided them with the means to develop and progress. But Prometheus didn't stop there. He continued to protect humans from the gods. He presented Zeus with two bundles, one filled with delicious meats covered with unappetizing bones, and the other filled with bones covered with delicious meats. Zeus, unable to tell the difference, chose the bundle with the bones, allowing humans to keep the delicious meats for themselves. This trick enraged Zeus, as it gave humans an advantage and challenged his authority. In his anger, Zeus decided to punish Prometheus in a way that would serve as a warning to others who might dare to defy the gods. He had Prometheus chained to a giant rock in the Caucasus Mountains. Every day, a giant eagle would fly down and feast on Prometheus's liver. Because Prometheus was immortal, his liver would regenerate each night, only to be eaten again the next day. This was Prometheus's punishment for eternity, the birth of Pandora. The damage, however, had been done. Humanity had received the sacred fire, creating an imbalance of power between the gods of Olympus and humanity. To correct this imbalance, Zeus devised a calamitous plan. He summoned Hephaestus, the skilled blacksmith of the gods, to fashion a being of unparalleled beauty and charm, endowed with irresistible gifts from the Olympian gods. With his skilled hands, Hephaestus began crafting the most exquisite creation the world had ever seen. Using clay, Hephaestus created the first mortal woman, Pandora. When Hephaestus's creation was ready, the gods of Olympus bestowed gifts upon Pandora. Her name itself means one who bears all gifts. Athena, the goddess of wisdom and war, breathed life into the clay figure and taught Pandora various skills, such as weaving. Aphrodite, the goddess of love and beauty, gave Pandora her beauty and charm. Hermes, the messenger of the gods, gave Pandora the gift of speech and instilled in her mind lies and crafty words. Other gods adorned her with fine clothes and jewelry. Pandora marries Epimetheus Prometheus, knowing the gods would seek revenge for his actions, warned his brother Epimetheus never to accept any gifts from them. Despite his brother's warnings, when Zeus presented Pandora to Epimetheus, he was captivated by her charm and beauty. He fell in love with her and took her as his wife. Unbeknownst to Pandora and Epimetheus, Zeus had asked Athena to plant the seed of curiosity in Pandora's heart. This seed grew into an unquenchable flame, burning brighter with each passing day. As Pandora and Epimetheus lived together in bliss, Zeus's plan began to unfold. In the final phase of his plan, Zeus presented Pandora with a mysterious, ornate box. Though in the original story by Hesiod, it was a large jar, the confusion stemming from a mistranslation by Erasmus of Rotterdam. It was given as a wedding gift from Zeus, adorned with symbols of wonder and mystery, with one condition. She was never to open it. Opening the box. With each passing day, Pandora's curiosity grew. 
She wondered what was in the box that was so important no human eyes could see it. Why did Zeus put it in her care? The flame of curiosity planted by Athena burned fiercer with each moment. The enigmatic box seemed to call out to her, whispering hidden secrets and unimaginable treasures. At times, she could almost swear she heard something moving within its confines, as if the box itself was alive. The sound seemed to form a siren song, beckoning her to lift the lid and reveal its mysteries. Despite her gifts of wisdom and intelligence, the temptation was too much for Pandora. In a moment of weakness, she convinced herself that she would take one small peek inside the box and then never think of it again. But as she carefully opened the box, the lid burst open, freeing a dark cloud and a horrendous chorus of screams. A hush fell over the world as the dark cloud spread, releasing all the evils that Zeus had trapped inside. Pandora watched in horror as they flew out, each one a different form of suffering and pain. There were diseases, sadness, and all kinds of bad things that had never existed before. Pandora was frozen in shock, her heart heavy with guilt and regret. She had unleashed these terrible things upon the world, and there was no way to take it back. The world was now filled with pain and suffering because of her curiosity. But then, just as Pandora was about to close the box, she heard a small, gentle voice coming from inside. It was soft and comforting, like a sweet melody. With hope in her heart, Pandora opened the box once more. Out flew a beautiful, glowing spirit, hope. The only good thing that had been trapped inside the box, hope flew out into the world spreading light and warmth and giving people the strength to endure the hardships that had been unleashed. Pandora watched as hope flew away, feeling a small sense of relief. Even though she had brought so much pain into the world, she had also released hope. And as long as there was hope, people would have the strength to overcome the challenges they faced. Why Zeus Gave Hope Despite his wrath and desire to punish Prometheus, and restore the balance of power between humans and gods, Zeus never intended to destroy humanity. He recognized that without hope, the burden of sorrows and hardships would be too much for mortals to bear. Hope was a subtle act of compassion, a message to mortals that while life's journey might be fraught with suffering and challenges, the flame of hope would always flicker, guiding them toward brighter tomorrows. The Other Pandora Interestingly, the story of Pandora has not always been told in the same way. Some experts believe that before Hesiod's interpretation, Pandora was seen as a generous earth deity who bestowed blessings upon humanity. This contrasts starkly with the version we know today, where Pandora is the bringer of suffering and hardship. After exploring Pandora's tale, it's interesting to note the similarities between this ancient Greek myth and the story of Adam and Eve from the Bible. In both stories, the first woman is portrayed as the catalyst for humanity's suffering. Pandora opens the box and releases all the evils into the world, while Eve eats the forbidden fruit, leading to the fall of man. Some scholars suggest that the spread of Greek culture may have influenced Christian and Jewish interpretations of scripture with the misogyny in Hesiod's story potentially influencing how Eve is portrayed in the book of Genesis. Regardless of the historical connections, these stories reflect a common theme in human mythology, the idea that with knowledge and consciousness comes suffering, but also the possibility of hope and redemption. The story of Pandora and the Box is a rich and complex tale that explores themes of curiosity, temptation, and the duality of human nature. It serves as a cautionary tale about the consequences of unchecked curiosity and the unforeseen outcomes of our actions. The God's gifts to Pandora symbolize the qualities that make us human, both our virtues and our flaws. The box itself represents the unknown and the potential for both good and evil. Pandora's act of opening the box is a metaphor for human curiosity and the desire to explore the unknown even when we know it might bring harm. What do you think of Pandora's story? Would a life without suffering be better than a life without hope? Let me know in the comments. If you don't want to miss the next story, 
Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications.